Hey guys, I'm back and today I am in my car again, which is very exciting. But today I'm going to be showing you guys my puzzle haul. So for some of you who know this, I do love jigsaw puzzles. I've loved them since I was a kid. Um, kind of something I always did with my mom was to do jigsaw puzzles. And so as an adult, I have carried over that interest. I recently went to Barnes and Noble and I found that they had just the most gorgeous puzzles. Like, wow, I did not know they carried such a wide selection of puzzles and within that selection, it's just beautiful puzzles. Um, and I'm attracted to like really pretty colors and um, you know, not super busy puzzles where it's like, just so much is going on in them, but I like, you know, nature and uh, bright colors and things like that. Um, so I wanna show you guys my latest puzzle haul. And I will warn you, one of the puzzles in here I did buy a few months ago, uh, but my boyfriend and I did just complete it. So I'll show you a picture of what it looks like complete and what the box looks like. Um, but for our first puzzle that I bought, so pretty it's called sunflower blooms and i love sunflowers i think they're so pretty and there's such a variety of them i uh, i once tried to grow sunflowers and uh, i grew some that were like this color and then i grew, grew some that were like this um and i just think they're so pretty and my boyfriend and i did go to a sunflower field to pick out sunflowers like this past summer so um yeah i like this one and it's 500 pieces so you know i think definitely doable in like an afternoon or two let's see what it looks like on the inside oh so this is what it looks like you know bigger pieces which we love i do love 500 piece puzzles like i think we're sleeping on them but oh they just give this as well uh, I like when they give like the fold outs a bigger picture of this. Um, it's nice that they gave this, that way the two of us can work on it at the same time and use it as reference points. So that's number one and I'll put the price here. Okay, puzzle number two, we're still going on the nature theme, but this time we're doing succulents. And this one is a thousand pieces. So this will take probably, I would say, probably anywhere from four to eight hours to complete with me and my boyfriend doing it. And let's see what it looks like on the inside. Oh, they have tape. No, they don't have tape. Oh, they do. They do have tape, that's why. So this is what the bag looks like. puzzle pieces and they do give a fold out very pretty and this this puzzle is just called succulents um, yeah, just called succulents <laughs> and I'll put the price here and for our third puzzle that I bought on this last trip, which I know three puzzles is kind of a lot to buy on uh, one trip, but they had so many gorgeous puzzles, like gorgeous puzzles that I could have bought easily like six, seven, eight puzzles. So many that I wanted to buy. So if you, if you like to see puzzle hauls, give this video a thumbs up and a like. Um, that way I can keep doing things like this. Um, but anyways, here's my third puzzle that I bought in my puzzle haul. It says all things are wild and all good things, I should say. All good things are wild and free. And here's what it looks like on the back. This is also a thousand pieces. This was my most expensive puzzle that I bought. Um, so... Hopefully that translates to, you know, good quality, all the good stuff that we like, really pretty. 
Um, it's a really pretty picture. I think that I just loved the vibe of it. So I had to buy it. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Another bag. Ooh, they have like, you see like the pretty pattern on the back of the puzzle pieces. Hard to show on screen probably. They also give a little, little di a little picture inside. Sometimes I buy puzzles and it's just like they don't have the bag inside, which is why I wanted to like snoop around and look. Those are the puzzles I bought. And then the fourth puzzle I wanted to show you guys is one that we had just completed and I bought a few months ago. So this is not part of this haul, but I just think it's so pretty and so cool. So number four, for all my Lego fans out there, we got the Lego ice cream. It's called Ice Cream Dream. I did buy this at Target maybe in November, I wanna say. Um, and we just finished it yesterday, no, Friday night. Um, so we spent maybe six and a half hours doing this puzzle. What I like about it is that there are all the different colors. So you could say like, oh yeah, you know, this specific shade of purple, let's get those pieces over there and then you could work on it. Um, but it did take a while because there aren't like too many distinctive features with it. Um, so it was kind of just based on color, which I love. I love colorful puzzles, which is what attracted me to buy this. Um, I will show you guys the completed product here. Um, I believe I paid probably maybe anywhere from 11 to $12 for this puzzle. And I do love Lego, so I thought it was neat. All right, well, those are the puzzles that I purchased. Um, and I personally would love to do maybe more like supporting more small businesses is kind of where I'm like headed in my life. I've been trying to do that. So if anybody knows a small business of puzzle makers that makes good quality and beautiful puzzles, I'm in the market. Um, but otherwise I will keep purchasing puzzles. Sometimes I like to thrift puzzles and pay like a dollar for them. Like I'm not always just buying from Barnes and Noble or Target. Um, I do like to also go like on Facebook Marketplace and buy puzzles. I've sold puzzles on there. Um, yeah, I love puzzles. So if you uh, know a better way to buy them or know of something, just let me know. I'm, I'm all ears. Uh, but I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and a like. And I will see you guys later. Bye.